What's up guys, Warrior Nation here and welcome to another video and today we will be reviewing Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender TV show adaption of the animated TV series of Avatar The Last Airbender. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the, the shots were beautifully well done. The CGI was pretty good and I thought the bending was really amazing and I, I'm just going to say, uh, I, I thought Momo looked really cute in this show, man. Like, that animal was so adorable in this show, man. I, I couldn't help it, man. And Sokka with his humor, man. Always talking about food. I, you know, I'm like Sokka, man. He, me... I say me and him probably have the same personality talking about food, man. I mean, I love me some good old chicken tenders, man. Uh, I mean, I, I could go for some chicken tenders right now, but uh, I'm not. Uh, it, it's too early for some chicken tenders or early in the morning. But And I, I thought uh, Appa was really good, too. But, and... So let's get on to the Fire Nation. So uh, we start off with Fire Lord Sozin and this. When you think this Earthbender uh, had the best of them, here comes uh, Fire Lord Sozin. He uh, literally uh, gets the best of them. He literally grabs to his hand and he bursts into flames, man. That was dark, man. But. You haven't seen nothing yet. Uh, at the Air Temple, the fire, uh, the fire Nation literally had a war with the Air Nomads, and uh, those deaths they were brutal, man. Uh, but Giazzo, he was doing pretty good when you think he was uh, uh, dead. He just but oh well uh he died that that was brutal and it was a little it's different from what we saw in the animated uh show because you know it's for kids uh that would be pretty dark to see in a kids show but oh well um and Ain't Ang still uh gets um trapped in the ice bear for a hundred years same as the show but uh a little bit different how it happens because he he leaves after he hears uh Giazzo and the other airbenders talking about um sending him him away for his training but that's not what happened. In here, uh, but at, after he was gonna go do his destiny, he had second thoughts. Uh, he was gonna combat, but a storm hit. But yeah, which uh, Katara and Sokka's, um found him, but yeah, uh, not many people was agreeing with uh, of with Sokka's. New, uh, let's say they dropped some of his personalities, but which, which, um, I mean, it's fine to me. He, he still feels like soccer to me. I mean, he still got the humor. I mean, I mean, him, um, because, because whenever he's going to go rescue Aang, uh, oh, look at. Look at this. Uh, Sokka did not want to um, ride on Sokka. He went, nope, uh-uh. He said, no guitar. Nope. And he started screaming when they started flying up in the air. <sighs> that that made me laugh right there. But <laughs> Well, I don't get this. Okay. The... Because, um, Katara, 
was an okay waterbender, but when they go to rescue Angam, when uh, Ang tries to get get away, uh, freaking Katara, um, throws water to prevent uh them getting hit by a uh, firebending. I believe from Zuko. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't understand how how did she uh become a master and just that one episode in the first was it yeah I'm pretty sure it was the first episode yeah I just don't understand but and then here's another thing that uh happened in the show we had uh. Uh, Aang and Avatar Kiyoshi exchange a few words and you know uh, you know how Kiyoshi is she, she's on a no mercy type of Avatar <laughs> you just don't want to make her mad but um this this is a little different because we didn't see uh Avatar Kiyoshi's um, spirit um, show up until later on in the uh, show um, Avatar Day. Yeah, when Aang was holding, being held trial for a murder of a leader that of their leader, which that that was pretty interesting. I, I, I'm glad they uh, added that aspect to it. And and I love the relationship between us, Sokka and Suki. I mean, I knew for an instant that she <laughs> fell for him, but um, which which uh yeah, it was a really good um. Dynamic between those two, they're training to together, and so uh, and I don't think they show this in the show, but um, after Luke Ten that died, uh, uh, Suka was just. Cheering Ira up, trying to be there for him, and gave something of Lieutenant's to to help Suko, and he gave it to Iro, and I thought that was a pretty good moment, and between those between those two, and and they even did the. Uh, Hey, by storyline a little bit different too, and I love that how uh, Cole, the uh, the face stealer, was involved in this storyline and Avatar. Cause Cole doesn't show up until a little bit uh, later. I think it was season one or two. It, yeah, I think. Yeah, cause uh, he uh. Got uh, Katara and Sokka, and he and Aang goes to uh, Roku, which he he's got a uh, got a totem, and uh, that's per pretty much the reason why uh, Ko is not really fond of the Avatar and Roku's. Characters' personality is a little bit different. Uh, I, I mean, of course, they're all going to be different, but uh, the actors and the actresses, they were all really good in this show. And man, in the spirit world, the moment Aang didn't expect was him to to be reunited with uh, Mont Giazzo. 
that that was a pretty sweet moment. It was it was very emotional. Uh, I was on the edge of my seat for that. Uh, it was it was real good and and another thing about what happened is just like in the uh, anime show, uh, Zuko and Zhao were not pretty f fun each other. I mean. They were willing to to work together to the conquer. Yeah, the water tribe and I believe try to find the avatar too. And man, we got Boomy and that was another uh, awesome moment in the show. Uh, it it was it was a little bit different and. And people's complaining that he's not a buff or anything, but I mean, they probably didn't have the. I don't know what they could have done. They could done, I guess, CGI or I guess they didn't have the funds or something. But I, oh, I don't know. But I thought that after train Boomy did a really good job, and he was still he was upset with Aang. I. I you did not expect that to ha happen in the in this show, cause you see Boomy as his character as this comedic, and I mean, I mean, he can be a little bit s serious, but how uh, Boomy was er bending at Aang, he was going aggressive though. I mean, he still did these. Uh, not all, not the, yeah, he literally challenged it, and, and, and how Aang dodged Earthbending, it was similar to the shot that was shot in the anime show, which I thought was a pretty nice homage to, to the original show, and we got, uh, we got some callbacks, which uh, Boomy uh, brought up this line that he got because he was having a face and he said, "These are from Kangaroo Island," and I thought that was a, per uh, a pretty nice line. And yeah, which we got the them right on the. I forgot what you called them uh, on those carts, and and we got that man with the cabbages in the show. That was pretty awesome. Man, he he must have to uh, do something with those cabbages, man. I mean, his cabbages always get rolled up. every time you see him. And we got, uh, this time around, we got, yeah, we got, uh, Jet and, Jet and this episode in Freedom Fires. I thought this was a pretty good episode for them to show, to show up. I mean, they had a bunch of, uh, people with them willing to, help oh uh, they were willing to uh yeah they were willing to assassinate boomy and the mechanicus but uh katara stopped it uh, but i was kind of bummed out that uh anger Sokka didn't have much screen time with jet or any of the freedom fighters but It, it was it was a that was a pretty nice episode, and I hope we see more Jet or the Freedom Fighters more down the line. Hopefully, in season two of the Last Airbender, but uh, you you never know. And we got the cave of two. 
we did have the Cave of Two Lovers until season two, man. They're doing some good stuff here, okay. But, uh, which, uh, we know it was originally Angus Tara going to the Cave of Two Lovers, but I know what you guys are going to say to that. Um, this was kind of incest, but no, basically, um, it, it doesn't matter in this type of love and in this type of way, it was a brother and sister type of love, how much they care and love for each other. And they was getting chased by the badger mole and you can see how the badger mole reacts for the how Katara and Sokka reacted to each other with anger and and Sokka was like uh, are we dead? And Katara goes like no and basically the badger mode laid, laid them out out of the uh, tunnel and I thought that was a pretty sweet moment and and let's talk about this other uh flashback it is with um zuko uh oza and ira okay basically during the uh meeting zuko is just telling him not to uh tell him how, what do you think about him real quick uh saying not to uh Dude is saying it's a, like a terrible plan and that very and that upset Ozai. Which I was surprised in their choice when they uh did this, um, cause in the animated show, uh Zuko didn't want to like fight his father in this Agni Kai. He, he he couldn't do it and he uh burned his eye and I looked away but um here's a difference in this moment because uh um I was like blast Zuko and Zuko had no choice but to blast him back and and Zuko showed some mercy he had the chance to basically uh kill Ozai but he didn't take it so uh Ozai took that took that as weakness to him and he got the best of Zuko and he blessed him in the eye and blessed him again. But uh, that was that was pretty dark right there, honestly. And and of course to make matters worse, Ozai would banish Zuko for uh and he must not uh return on the until he catches the Avatar. Um, the Fire Nation's greatest threat. And I Iru was basically trying to uh talk to his brother trying to come uh bent him not to uh make matters worse with this as his son is it's just ashamed of why his father would do something like this. Which, I, you know, the very interesting part about this show is that Ozai and Iroh in the animated show never shared any scenes together. Th that's very surprising to me that they never show shared any uh scenes together in the animated show I, I think that's a pretty good on their part that they did something like this and basically Shao would uh catch her ang at the fire nation temper uh temple ah, i can't even talk today um at uh uh avatar roku's home and Basically, um, 
He doesn't even want the Avatar. He doesn't even see him as a threat. It just... Basically, this song, the entire time, uh, Azula and Zhao have been working together this whole time, just trying to get up, up Zuko, and it, it, it's uh, working. And basically, if we have the Blue Spirit comes to rescue, uh, uh, Avatar Aang and which he does um and and which we we had an, another great moment in this uh, when Joe yeah. says, Oh brother great, let him go And what else I fun fun great is I, I love the conversation between Aang and Zugo, which um, he says, uh, I, I think we could uh, be friends. Because, man, what's going to be so interesting is Zuko's redemption arc. It's going to be so great. It, and plus, another thing about this is. I, I didn't expect Ozai to like Zuko more than he does Azula. Cause man, in the anime show, Ozai's favorite was Azula. Like man, you know what? And plus all this training, like I was wondering why she wasn't like using the. Uh, Blue that uh blue uh fire band that she but I finally knew she wasn't giving her giving it her all when she does it was she even used lightning we didn't we don't see uh Ara or Anger Zuko do any of those until like s season two and uh three which which is a pretty awesome moment of all these storylines that they come up with and man this has a potential to be an awesome show this is way better than the movie that disaster of a movie i just want to get out of my brain in my head it, it was hard watching that I, I never want to see that movie again. I thought it was good when I when I was a kid, but when I'm an adult, uh-uh, uh-uh, nope, no sir, I do not want to uh, see that movie, especially with everything that was wrong with it. And now we get on. To the water drive home. Man, this is such so, so awesome. Oh, Princess Yule, I love what they did with her. With all the abilities she had, she could go into this, to the spirit world. She was the moon spirit. She had what water band. Oh, this was such a um, amazing. And Sokka uh, had suspicion. I, I like how he had that suspicion that she was the fox in the spirit world. And and I like what they did with her ex fiance Hong. In the anime show, he was a jerk. Like a full on. And they made him... Look, look, at the, look up the Sokka, which I love that about his uh character. And man, it, it's like he was asking these questions about uh the Fire Nation's armor and stuff because he, he he didn't have experience. He he wanted 
experience from Saka, who's actually went up against this type of threat before. And, and uh, of course, we uh, had a uh, Katara wanting to learn more uh, water bend, but um, Paku wouldn't uh, teach her because um, the women are only supposed to heal, not not fight. And basically, that gave Katara the courage to challenge him, wanted to make a stand, and she basically. That was that was a beautiful uh, fight scene right there. The fight scenes in this show was phenomenal, and when the Fire Nation and the Water Tribe started the fight, uh, this was brutal. And and of course, Ang had to go to Avatar Karuk and basically. He was like a broken man. Uh, basically, that the only way to win the battle is to beat the Avatar is alone without any friends or nobody. Which is horrible. Which you can understand. I mean, he, you lost, he lost the woman of his life to. Uh, the face stealer Cole. I mean, you can understand from his perspective. And basically, when uh, Zhao uh, killed the Moon Spirit, oh, man, <laughs> that was horrible. Uh, the basically like the water. Tr Waterbenders were dying off, but yeah, it, it was pretty dark and and basically um channeled the the moon spirit to, to give the water trap fight a chance and what you did, he man, I, I thought he was legit about to kill everybody. In another moment that got me scared for a moment, I was so glad that they didn't do this. I thought Momo was going to die for a moment. I, I mean, I kind of knew they weren't going to go to... I, I didn't expect them because Momo saved someone. You don't see that very often. Then, uh... Because I thought... Mama was going to do something funny or something because you know he did in the battle before in the anime show. But and Sokka was so relieved when uh, UA uh, brought Momo back with the uh, when she held him, put him in the water, and the heal him. Sokka would legit was scared to death and. And a plus, Suko and Zhao had a and had a fight, and and from Iroh's perspective, uh, he saved Zuko. He killed Zhao. I wasn't expect that, and and overall, I was there were some aspects I was disappointed with. I was disappointed we didn't get to see. John John, who teaches a sort of fire bending in the anime show, and and we didn't get to see Haru. I hope maybe we could see them in season two, hopefully, because those two are uh, very fantastic characters in the anime show, and I hope we get to see them, and hopefully in season two. And dialogue can use some work too. Like, 
I didn't like how they referred to bending as skills like Aang says I'm, I have to master the other bending skills which I thought that was pretty dumb on their part to put that in but overall I get this rating uh, a 10 out of 10 in my opinion I thought this was a pretty good show and hopefully they get renewed for a second season I can't wait to see what they do next so this is my official Avatar The Last Airbender um, TV series review. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.